Okay, in this video, we are gonna do some example average value problems. And before you can do average value problems, you need to know what average value is. So the average value of f of x on the interval from a to b is, so there's two different common ways of writing it. It's the integral from a to b of f of x dx over b minus a, or equivalently, you might see it written, in fact, on the AP exam, they write it this way all the time, um, as one over b minus a, and then times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. So be familiar with both of those. And I would say in general, when you see something that looks like the second one, one over b minus a, um, immediately think, oh, this is an average value problem. Um, and then the way that I think about average value is I always think that what we're really doing is the integral over the interval. So it's the integral from a to b over the interval b minus a. Um, so that's how I remember it. So let's box that. Let's do an example problem. So this is a very straightforward example. We just want to find the average value of f of x, which is 2x plus 3, on the interval from 1 to 3. So this is kind of just an excuse to use the uh, fundamental theorem of calculus, I guess. So it's the integral from 1 to 3 of 2x plus 3 dx over, and then it'll be 3 minus 1. And so what I do immediately is I just take this three minus one and I bring it out as one half. And then the quantity, I've got to integrate two x plus three. So that's gonna be x squared plus three x, just kind of reversing the power rule there. And then we're going from one to three. And so it's, I'm gonna do one half because everything has one half, the quantity. Now I'm gonna substitute three. So I'm gonna put that in parentheses, so that'll be Three squared is nine, three times three is nine, so uh, nine plus nine. And then minus, because we're using the fundamental theorem, I'm gonna substitute one, get one plus three here. So the quantity one plus three, close parenthesis. And then uh, that's 18 minus four is 14, divided by two is seven. And so that's the average value of this function, two x plus three, on the interval from one to three. And we're actually done with that problem. I wanna do one more problem to show you how these things can uh, look a little bit different, even though it looks exactly the same. So we wanna find the average value of f of x equals the square root of nine minus x squared on the interval from negative three to three. So this one, I'm gonna set up exactly the same way because it's an average value problem. So it's the integral from negative three to three of our function, which is radical nine minus x squared dx over and then it's three minus negative three. Okay, so this is gonna be one sixth, and then still this integral. There's kind of a problem here, because uh, especially if you're taking calc AB, um, or calc BC really, uh, we don't actually know how to find an antiderivative of this, but we don't need to, because remember, this is we're just trying to evaluate the definite integral from negative three to three of the square root of nine minus x squared. And if you think about what the square root of nine minus x squared is, it's actually a semicircle. So it's the top half of this circle, which is a circle of radius three. So because of that, if I can just find this area right here, that'll be the definite integral. And I can definitely find that because I know how to find the area of the circle. So I'm gonna say that this is one sixth, and then the quantity. So it's a circle of radius three, so it has a total area of nine pi, but I only get half of it, so nine pi over two. So here, that's our definite integral. And then if we simplify this, we get nine pi over 12, which is three pi over four. So that's an example where we can still find the average value, even though we didn't actually find an antiderivative, we just found the definite integral. So you should always be on the lookout for that. Sometimes you're given the graph of the function um, and you can geometrically work it out with like some triangles, trapezoids and rectangles. Um, so there's all sorts of things you can do because the numerator there is the definite integral. So don't think you have to find an antiderivative, you just need to evaluate the definite integral. All right, so that's two examples of average value. It comes up a lot um, in a lot of different contexts, so make sure you can deal with it. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.